I paid over $100 for the Sephora Favorites 25 Days of Beauty Must Haves. Is it actually worth it? Alrighty guys, so if you guys did not see, I recently did a video where I unboxed eight. That's right, I said eight beauty advent calendars. Trust me, I wanted to have more. I wanted to have more, but I didn't realize how lucrative the advent calendar business is. Advent calendars apparently start launching in like September. Everybody goes and buys them. They don't ship until like November, but everybody buys them and they sell out so quickly. I learned that lesson the hard way. So I was able to buy what I was able to buy. And I remember in that video, I talked about the Sephora favorites, 25 days of beauty advent calendar must haves. I'm not kidding. The day that video went live, I got notified that Sephora re-released this advent calendar and the way that I scrambled so fast out of bed to go purchase this. Move, bitch. Ooh, then you wouldn't think, you would have thought that it was like a major drop. No, I literally rushed to get this and it's actually sold out again. What? It is sold out again. So if you guys did not know, this is the most coveted like Sephora advent calendar. This releases sometime in like September, October, and it sells out like that. I mean, it sells out so freaking quick. Everybody runs to get this, but you know what the shitty part is about this whole situation is that this is like all over Poshmark, Macari, and eBay for like $250 plus. I hate that they allow resellers to do this. So the reason why these things I think sell out so quickly is because people go and buy it and then freaking resell it at a higher cost and what it's probably actually valued at. This states it's valued at $340, I doubt it, but people go and sell it and people are actually buying it. And I almost, I almost contemplated buying it myself. I was like, you know what, screw it. I really want it for this video. Let me go buy this. Let me do like some sort of like, so let me do some sort of like afterpay situation. And then I said, you know what? I'm just gonna cut my losses. I bought the eight that I had. I went on about my day and then Sephora notified me that it was back in stock for a very limited time and I immediately grabbed it and it's here. So I wanna know, is this actually worth it or did I just take my hundred dollars and just throw it straight in the trash? <laughs> Let's find out. Now, just in case anyone does ask what I'm wearing today for my makeup, I will have a link down below, but I am wearing the Lunar Beauty 12 Days of Lunar Palette. I just went in with like this, brown shade right here, followed by this gold and this gold. Super freaking pretty, super, super easy. So with that said, guys, let's dive into the 25 days of beauty must have from Sephora. So it does come completely sealed on all, four, on all three sides. And then you do open it like this. There are 25 days of beauty plus two bonus days to go with it. I'm just so curious to see if I just wasted my money or do we actually get some good things in here? Because I still stand, but one of my favorite advent calendars besides like the luxury one from Macy's is the Ulta slash Target advent calendar. That one was so freaking good. It was 15 days worth of beauty. It was $45 and they're all brands that I know and want to try or have loved. And I just really freaking love that advent calendar. So I'm hoping to feel the same way about this because I really do love Sephora. And this kind of reminds me of the Play by Sephora. I know I talk about that a lot. I realize I talk about Play by Sephora a lot, but it was a $10 subscription service. You got like four or five deluxe sample size of all the products sold at Sephora. And it was a freaking fantastic box. Fantastic box. I wish I'd bring it back because I miss it. So we're going to go ahead and dive right on in. I'm going to go into day number one. So let's see what we got for day one. Oh, day one. We are starting off strong. We have a rare beauty mascara so we have a rare beauty mascara right here now this actually is completely sealed and i'm going to leave it sealed and the only reason why i'm going to leave it sealed is because betty my beautiful friend betty jean she just gave me a full-size version of this and i believe this is let me check it out so she gave me the full-size version so this is the full-size version and this is how this mascara looks. So I'm definitely going to be excited to give this a go. So I'm going to keep this one. I am going to pass along the smaller size because I'd rather this go to a better home. But I will say this is a really decent size for what it is. So we have a Rare Beauty Mascara. I'm so excited to give it a try because I've really been trying. I've been really wanting to get into Rare Beauty because I really think they have phenomenal like products. Like I really have, I have their highlighter on right now. I have been enjoying them and I'm just so excited to try more stuff from that brand. So this is starting off really good. Going into box number two. Oh my goodness. Okay, so 
Box number two, uh, Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant Salicylic Acid. It's so funny because I actually got this little size last year during the Sephora Rouge Show because I really wanted to give this a go. I really fell in love with this. So I went and bought the full size this year and I did put this in here. Now this came in with like one other product. I think I spent like, 18 less than 20 bucks for two things so the fact that this is in here this is a fantastic product this has so much product in it this actually lasts me quite a bit because so i was very gentle with this i only use this at night and i didn't use it every day i use it like once or twice a week and i got this to last me quite a bit so the fact they have this in here i think that's so freaking exciting and this is another great choice ah I'm so excited that they're doing good so far okay okay moving into box number three we have a big one. You have got to be kidding me. What the heck is this? What the heck is this? What is this? What is that? What is, th are you, they, are you, are you fucking kidding me? Like they really just filled this up with a small ass little beauty blender when in this big old thing. Are you serious right now? What the heck? What is this? What is this? This is a waste of product. You were doing so good, Sephora. And then you threw in this? At least throw in the real full-size beauty blender, not this little itty bitty shit. What the heck? And you take up literally the entire space for number three. Make that make sense. Make that make sense. <laughs> okay, going into box number four. What do we have for box number four? I feel like we're about to be like on prices, right? Box number four, ooh, what do we have for this? Box number four, we have um, Mason Louis Marie. Mason Louis Marie. It is a perfume oil, okay. Ooh, that smells so good. Oh, okay, let's look at this brand. I have not heard this brand before. By the way, my box did come with like two little perfume samples. I got a Gabriel Chanel and a Clean Reserve. I actually really do like the Clean Reserve. I wanted to buy the full size of this. This is Sparkling Sugar. I always see Jacqueline talk about this on her Instagrams. It does smell really good. I almost bought the full size of this when I was at Sephora, I'm not gonna lie. It smells absolutely fantastic, but I don't think I smelled the Chanel one before. Gabrielle, that is very, very, very nice. All right, let's look up this Mason person. Okay, so it's a pretty affordable brand. Um, it's number 13 is the scent and no way this is the same size. No way. Okay. So they have a roller size. Um, I don't think it's the same thing, but they have a perfume oil roller ball that retails for $16. I don't think this is the same thing because if that's the same thing, that's actually quite hilarious. I mean, it looks like it could be, but like, I don't know, but I will say this smells really Really nice, it smells really, really nice. I like that a lot, actually. Okay, it's kind of making up for number three. All right, moving on to number five. Ooh, number five, we have a Moroccan oil treatment for all hair types. Um, this is just gonna be a hair care experience for you. So let's see what this product is, is about. Oh my God, that smells absolutely fine. That smells so freaking good, not gonna lie. That smells incredible. My only thing, about hair oils is that my hair gets really greasy. Like my hair gets really oily. It's also because I'm a very, very oily person. So I have to live and breathe by dry shampoo. I also don't wash my hair every day. I wash it either every other day, every two days. Sometimes I extend it to three because I do. Um, I'm, an, I'm a blonde and also the water here in Florida just really sucks. It's really harsh on the hair. So I try not to use as much, I try not to wash my hair as much. So I feel like an hair oil, I don't really know what I would do with it. Like, can you guys explain to me in the comments below what you guys do with hair oils? Cause I just feel like it would, it would just accentuate my greasiness and I just don't know if I really get a use out of that product. So let me know if you guys use it. Like, what do you do? Moving on to number six. Oh, okay. So number six, I have definitely seen this product before. Nice big old size. This is the Youth to the People. This is the Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser. I actually have tried this product before because of an Ipsy and a BoxyCharm unboxing. And I will say this is a fantastic cleanser. Doesn't always smell the best, but this is a huge size. I feel like this can last you quite a bit. So this is actually really nice, all nice healthy ingredients that are in here. This is a nice, decent size. Like this should have been in box number three. You know what I mean? <laughs> what the heck? This is actually worth it. That's actually really good. I feel like that's almost like the full size. Moving on to box number seven. Box number seven. Oh, 
It's a little itty bitty. It's a little itty bitty. This is the Drunk Elephant Proteiny. Proteiny. Um, polypeptide cream. So this is a facial moisturizer. Oh my God, she is a little itty bitty. Doesn't really have too much of a scent to it though. This is super, super tiny. I don't know how much use I would get out of this one because it's like barely anything there, but I will say it's super cute. I haven't really tried much from Drunk Elephant, so I don't know if this is good or not. If you guys tried it, let me know, but that's kind of cool. Moving on to number eight, we have ABH Brow Wiz. Ooh, we have an ABH Brow Wiz. You know what's so funny? So I don't think I've ever tried the ABH Brow Wiz. I know that my friend Cody J absolutely is obsessed with it, but I don't think I've ever tried it myself. This is something I'm really looking forward to trying. I do like how small, a little sample size. Super cute. I'm excited about this one. Moving on to number nine. If this big old thing's filled with a little tiny beauty blender, I'm about to throw this box. Okay, now this is what I'm talking about. All right. So this is from Slather. Uh, I don't know what this is. This is topical, so this is an exfoliation, exfoliating body serum. So apparently it has retinol, lactic acid, urea, and sequiline, and it says slather all over the body two to three times per week or more often as tolerated. Wow, I have never heard of this brand before. Moving on to number 10. Number 10, we have the Grande Lash MD. This is the Lash Enhancing Serum. She's so itty bitty, looks like so. All right, I definitely have tried the full size of this product before. It's definitely not a bad product. I do prefer my lash food over this one, but I will say it's a pretty good product if you're looking to like grow your lashes and stuff like that. I do prefer lash food, but I do like this one. Moving on to number 11. All right, number 11, we have something from Myth. <gasps> Ellis Brooklyn called Myth. Oh, wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. That smells so good. If you guys did not know, I recently discovered Ellis Brooklyn. I know that you guys can find them at uh, TJ Maxx, by the way, because I've been seeing Leah Janae talk about it, but I recently discovered them because there's this perfume called Salt Life that I discovered during the Sephora, um, the Sephora Rouge show. I really wanted it. I couldn't find the, the travel size. And then my beautiful friend Angelica actually sent it to me for my birthday. And I fell in love with that perfume. I did not get a chance to try anything else. So they have one called Myth and it's a roller one. And I will say, this smells so freaking good. It just smells so clean, so light. <laughs> oh, I love perfume. This is exciting. All right, so far, so good. Minus number three. Moving on to number 12. What do we have for number 12? Oh, look at this. Hold up. <laughs> All right, so number 12, we have something from Milk Makeup. Now, this is going to be their Lip and Cheek um, blush. Now this is actually the full size. And the only reason I know that is because you guys did not know, I do occasionally get milk makeup PR. It's very rare. It's very infrequent, but I have gotten stuff. And this is the stuff that they only send me is like their full kits of like blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. So like, here's, a, here's an example of like a bronzer. They included the full size. And this is like, I don't know, I would say 20 bucks, 24 bucks, 24 bucks. So the fact that I paid over a hundred, I got at least a $24 item. That's actually not bad. Full size. I really like that. I really like that. Okay, that one. <laughs> that's actually really good. Okay, cool. All right, moving on to lucky number 13. 13. Oh, thir okay. 13's big. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Please be more than just a small little beauty blender. All right, what do we have? Oh. Alrighty, so we have something from um, First A Beauty. This is the Bump Eraser Body Scrub with 10% AHA for sense, safe for sensitive skin. So this is an exfoliator, and this is definitely the full size of this as well. It's so funny because every other advent calendar that I unbox, they always gave me the First A Beauty like makeup cleanser. I have multiple of those products because I got them in so many different advent calendars, and I get them on BoxyCharm and Ipsy, so it's so nice to see something just a little bit different full size as well. I'm really curious to see what the price on this one is. This is the mini size and this retails for $12. Definitely still not a bad gig. It's still really big for what it is. Now that is how you fill big space. That's what she said. <laughs> Alrighty, moving on to number 14. We got another perfume. Oh my gosh. I'm getting stocked up on all the perfumes. Who's this by? This is by Chloe. Oh, it's a Chloe perfume. That smells really good. Wow. Okay, so this is by Chloe. Smells really good. This is super cute, by the way. Like, I like these, but sex are one of those finger ones you'd like dab on. I wish it was like a roller or had like a little bit of like a squirt, but this is super cute and it's by Chloe. All right, so it's like trying to find where's Waldo. Where's 15? 15. Okay, here we go. Number 15 right here. 
Super Goop, what? Okay, so this is the Super Goop, Super Goop Glow Sunscreen. I have seen everybody talk about this brand. I have personally not tried it. And the reason being is that a lot of times they have products that are not really geared towards oily skin. They have stuff kind of geared towards dry to normal skin. So this is a glow sunscreen. I personally would never wear this under makeup. I'd wear this either by itself because if I wear it under makeup, for sure, it's gonna make me super glowy. Anytime I wear any sort of like sunscreen under makeup, I get super oily just because the SPF in there makes me super freaking oily. So I know this is gonna do the same thing, but I am excited to give this a go because it's from Super Goop. I've never tried this before. I've always heard such amazing things. So I'm, I'm actually excited about this one. Moving on to number 16. Okay, we have a little lipstick. I don't know who the brand is. Is that Valentino? Okay, so I had a cheat and I had to look at the back of the box for like two seconds. I didn't get any other spoilers, but I had to look at the back of the box for two seconds. I did not recognize the brand. So this is a little Giorgio Armani lipstick. I don't even know the shade. I think the shade is called uh, 104 No Power or something Power 104. So this is how the little lipstick looks. I can already tell you right now, this is not a lipstick for me. This is kind of like very light pink, very beige, very much on the nudie side. And I do not go for colors like this. So I'm not going to swatch this one. I will put a little insert photo for you. I just know for me, I'd rather pass this along to a better home than just try it out knowing that I won't really get a use out of this. But that's super cute though. I like that. Moving on to number 17. What do we have for number 17? All right, number 17, we have something called Veggie More. This is a hydrate leave-in conditioner. Ooh. Mm, that, ew, what is that smell? I do not like that smell. What is that? Okay, so the full size retails, wait, what size is this? Hold on. Okay, so this is, this retails for 16. This is a mini size. And um, it's a vegan, it's a vegan keratin alternative. So um, that's probably why I don't like the smell of it. Um, it has notes of jasmine, lang lang, and Tahitian vanilla. I don't know what that means, but all I know is that I am so not a fan of that scent. Ooh, hoo, 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 that one is just not for me. Okay, so moving on to number 18. What do we have for number 18? All right, so we have something from Dr. Dennis Gross. This is going to be the Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel, a patented two-step peel with five AHA slash BHAs, helps to smooth fine lines, minimizes the look of pores, improves the appearance of uneven tone and textured. It achieves clinical results at home. Well, sign me up. I am so down for this. Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay. Well, we are definitely going to have to get this a go. There are only going to be three treatments in here and then the rest I'll have to buy, but it's supposed to give you smooth, radiant skin in two minutes. Oh, <laughs> anything to help with my fine lines and pores, sign me up. And I know Dr. Dennis Gross is a really, you know, fantastic. I know Dr. Dennis Gross is a highly like sought after brand. I only see people talking about this on TikTok and at Sephora whenever I'm there. So I'm actually really excited about that one. Number 19. can't escape this shitty ass product. So we have the Smashbox Original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. If I had my way, this would go straight into the trash. So I'm just gonna pass this along because this just does not work for me. I do not like it. I know my mom loves this and I know so many people out there love this, but for me, this just does not work on my skin type and that's okay, but um, no. <laughs> Moving on to number 20. Number 20, ooh, we have something from Refi. So this is going to be their brow sculpt. Oh, okay, I have not really tried much in this brand. So I'm excited to give the little brow sculpt a try. Super cute little mini. There are great things about this brand. I see people talk about this all over TikTok, so sign me up. Moving on to number 21. And yes, I am keeping the products in the box for right now because I'm doing my little short after this. So number 21, oh, we have another perfume. So number 21, we have something from Clean Reserve and this is going to be the Radiant Nectar Scent. Ooh, ooh, does this smell good? Damn it. That freaking smells like peaches. Oh, that smells so good. Oh my God. I swear these advent calendars, they're gonna get me hooked on perfumes. They're gonna get me spending money on perfumes, damn it. Number 22, what is this? What is this? From number 22, we have something from 
Laneige. This is going to be the Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Cream Moisturizer. Oh, <laughs> Laneige. Uh, yes, yes, yes. It smells like some sort of sweet candy. This smells actually really good. I have only ever tried like their lip mask. I've never actually tried anything from Laneige in terms of like skincare or moisturizer stuff. So I'm actually really curious to give this a go. I'm really curious about this product. I wonder if it's going to be good. It comes in this really, really, really cute little packaging. Like, I thought this was an AirPod case at first. I was like, oh, that's weird, <laughs> but that's exciting. Okay, cool. Moving on to number 23. What do we have for number 23? Number 23, we have something for, oh, <laughs> it's something from Laura Mercier. This is going to be their translucent setting powder. You know, I used to enjoy their setting powders because I didn't really know really, I didn't really know what a good setting powder was for my skin type. I'm not saying this is bad, but this generally doesn't work for my oily skin. I've given it so many different chances and it just doesn't work the way that other setting powders do. So I definitely, I definitely did declutter mine, but they did put this little, little mini travel size in here. It is super freaking cute. But definitely not a bad setting powder, but it's definitely not my favorite, but I will say it is really cute. I know that so many people still do live and breathe by it. Moving on to number 24. <laughs> we got a Sol de Janeiro. We got a Sol de Janeiro. This is going to be their Real Radiance. This is the Solar Tube. This is their uh, Perfume Mist. I have tried this brand because of Paige. Otherwise, I've not tried it. So I want to see how this smells. Mm. It smells like a Disney tourist. I love it. You know, what's so funny is I generally do like the smell of Disney tourists because most Disney tourists, most, not all, smell like um, coconuts and sunscreen. And to me, that just reminds me of being at the beach or being at the water parks. So I just generally really do enjoy the scent. And this is what it reminds me of. This smells so freaking good. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, moving on to box number 25. What, do, ooh, we have something from a Give. This is Gwen Stefani's brand. So looks like to see we have a full size lipstick in the shade Original Recipe. It's not my fave. It's not my fave. The red looks so much more vibrant than the swatched on the hand. Um, Damn, let's see what the undertones of this are. I've never tried this brand, by the way, so I don't know how the product performs. I, I'm gonna definitely give it a go. I'm gonna try it, but I wanna see how, what the undertone of this lipstick is. So this is marked as a true red. It's on sale for $18.20 right now. Otherwise it, it normally does read 26. It just says it's, it's a true red. Usually I love a more blue, purple undertone red, but we'll definitely have to give this a go. Maybe it's prettier on the lips than it is in swatches. Cause I will say the actual like red itself looks really freaking beautiful. And I've never tried this brand and this is a full size in here as well. So that's actually really exciting. Even though it's not my favorite red, we're definitely gonna give it a go. All right, so they did throw in two bonus days. So we're gonna start off with the top bonus day right here. What do we have? We have something from Glow Recipe. Oh, this is my favorite. So this is the Glow Recipe Strawberry BHA Pore Smoothing Blur Drops. I have the full size right over here. You guys know that I absolutely hated this product when I first tried it, but then I fell in love and I literally wear it under my makeup every single day. It's so freaking good. And they put a little mini in here. Oh my God, I'm so excited because I'm definitely passing this along to you guys. So if you haven't had a chance to try it, you definitely can because it is such a great product, especially if you are really oily. This is good to help to mattify the skin. It doesn't do shit for your pores but it's great to help mattify the skin. We are on our last bonus day, our last unboxing. What do we have? I hope it's really good. Let's see, what do we have? What do we have? Ooh, we have something from Summer Fridays. This is going to be their Lip Butter Balm. What? This is definitely the full size. Oh my gosh, I have not tried this brand. It smells so good. <laughs> I am so excited. Okay guys, so I spent $99. Well, I, technically over a hundred, like with taxes and whatnot. I will say I absolutely loved every single day except for number three. Number three, that is just, that's just shitty. I hated that day, but every other day, uh, I really enjoyed. I got to try, I get to try some perfumes I never would have bought in. I get to try new brands I never tried before. We have brand new products. This was absolutely fantastic. And I think out of all eight advent calendars that I previously unboxed, um, I think it's safe to say that this one is my absolute favorite. It's so good. And I can see why this one sells out. 
This is so good. Now I will have it linked down below. Like I, like I said, it says that it's available in stores only. It's sold out, but just keep an, keep an eye out for it. I think you guys can sign up to be notified if this comes back in stock because Sephora did bring it back, which I was so surprised about because this is a, um, like final sale type of situation. So the fact they brought it back, which means it's really popular. I'll link it down below in case you guys want to check it out in case they do bring it back. Please don't go on Macari. Don't go on Poshmark because at the end of the day, as much as I freaking love this box, I still don't think it's worth $250. At that price, you can go buy a lot of these items for almost full price and just use like Afterpay or something like that. Don't go buying it at that price. Let only buy it when it's like sold from Sephora because I will say this was absolutely fantastic and I'm so glad I got it. Oh my gosh. Now, I definitely am not going to keep every single item. I do have a box of all the mini stuff that I'm not keeping that I am giving away to you guys. It's one of my days of Christmas, which I will be doing on December 6th. Um, it is a domestic giveaway only because shipping is very expensive and I have some pretty heavy boxes. So I really hope to see you guys there. But I will say this was, this was so good and this is probably my favorite advent calendar. Damn. Sephora really did that. <laughs> so that is it for today's video. Let me know down below what you guys think of this advent calendar. Do you guys like it? Do you guys not? Let me know. But that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already. Because I do post four to five videos every single week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channel. It's R for the Life. You guys get to see my cool, wonderful ventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And as always, the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful, wonderful page members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything and to my subscribers and viewers thank you guys so much for being here whether you guys like this video you guys thumbs down this video you guys subscribed you guys did not subscribe either way thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys in my very next video